Hi everyone. Now imagine if I ask you to sit on a box full of hundreds of kilograms of dynamite and attached to it is some rope. At the end of the rope is fire. So hot it can melt aluminium. And all of this in a big steel cage with heavy glasses going down the hill at 50, 70 kilometers per hour. Will you uh, sit inside? Anyone? I will have some cushions for your comfort. Believe it or not, every time you sit inside the car, all of these things are happening. But you don't think about this. Yeah, really. The only thing you think about is the traffic. Ah. So, precision engineering is part of our daily life, in our mobile and everything. But it goes unnoticed, because the scientists and the engineers keep track of all the possible mistakes human can make, all the possible things can go wrong with the heat or the electricity or the mechanics, so that you are safe, your life is not in danger. Now when it comes for the example of precision engineering, maybe cars and mobiles are not the best of the example. One of the best example is in Kashina. Does anyone know which machine I'm talking about? The Virgo machine, the gravitational wave observatory, which will be operational soon. Now it is known that gravity can change length and time for some reason, and it can make you a thinner and taller for a moment, but with a very, very tiny amount. It's like one drop of water in all the oceans and all the water, all the rivers, everything. Just one drop of water, measuring that amount. For that, you have to make your lasers, your mirrors, so pure, the purest form of laser. The mirror so smooth that if the mirror was the size of Earth, the highest mountain will be a few meters tall. And more than that, your machine, your Earth, your lasers, everything is changing more than the amount we want to measure. All to understand the universe. It's like measuring that one drop in a tsunami. So you know, next time, if a scientist says, sit inside the rocket to the deep space, you know you are in good hands. And who knows, the movie Interstellar becomes a reality someday. Thank you. Thank you very much.